a KQED HD production. All along this coastline, the ocean's changing. Deep water wells up to the surface sometimes and brings acidity with it. But we're changing the whole ocean's acidity as well. As carbon dioxide is increasing in the atmosphere, some of that carbon dioxide is being absorbed by the oceans and it makes it more acidic. So we've been looking at the effects of ocean acidification along the Pacific coast on the uh, purple sea urchin. The sea urchin has a hard internal skeleton that's made of calcium carbonate. Ocean acidification makes it harder for organisms like clams and mussels and sea urchins to produce their hard shells. We're going to start with the egg and we're going to follow the larvae all the way to where it makes a tiny little sea urchin and we're going to study it from the outside, how they look and how they grow, and the inside, the kinds of genetic mechanisms that might be interfered with by ocean chemistry in the future. We want to see whether urchins that are raised under more acidified waters, whether they have a more difficult job making these critical skeletal rods. The ocean isn't just a place that we take food out of, it's a place that regrows our food for us. It regrows whole ecosystems in the march of generations from one year to the other. It's that march of generations that we're really looking at in this experiment. Can the larvae survive? Can the parents of the future generation be expected to live into the next generation? <laughs>